Yo, what's up, world? It's your man, Swim Jim Longfoot, a.k.a. the GOAT King of America. Welcome to day 1497 of Diabetes and I, the daily vlog series that I do to show y'all how I combat this type 2 diabetes with the 1, 2, you feel me? Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up on all things Swim Jim Longfoot, such as my product reviews my how-to videos for youtubers my tv and movie reviews my reactions my video clips my shorts my um my live streams my daily vlogs that you're watching right now and last but not least my art video series goat 1408 tv Shout outs to the members of the live chat crew, most notable members includes Evie Cavallo, the Greek Goddess, Sexy Trees 1408, Queen Candace, Michael Marshall, Life's Magical Journey, Wellness with Frugal Mama, and last but not least, my sis, the big sis of YouTube, Latanya Porter. Special consideration to my bro Johnny Quest Gaming, who co-hosts the Nerd Strip Club with me. We ain't checked out our channel yet. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? What you waiting on? Go do that there. Go do that there. Go do that there. All right. And tomorrow is his birthday, y'all. Tomorrow is Johnny Quest Gaming's birthday. Happy, happy birthday to my bro. You know what I'm saying? Many more tomorrow. We'll celebrate it some more tomorrow. Meantime, between times, uh, he's a little bit up under the weather, so you know what I'm saying, manifesting his healing on that, you know what I'm saying, get better soon, bro. Meantime, between times, um, yeah. Um, also, shout outs to the members of the 1408, which includes Kid Wonders Life of Wonder, Gaming Mode, Advice with Mel, excuse me, Advice with Mel, with Mel, Elevate with Vern, Blackjack 939, Crow Loner, and last but not least, Eat to Live Strong. If you yourself would like to be a member of the 1408, you're going to have to wait a little minute until we get back monetized here on the channel. Meantime, between time, if you truly want to support Slim Jim Longfoot and all my endeavors, check out the links in the description below. Links in the description below includes the books I've written, the books I've drawn, the merchandise that I have, and last but not least, my sister's cash app on behalf of my awesome niece Paris, who was shot on the 2nd of February back in 2022. Hashtag Paris Strong, hashtag Paris or Paris, whether that's F O R or the number four. Paris with two R's, y'all. Uh, today is the 8th of April, the 8th of April, 2024, 4824. It is 4824. It is Monday. And uh, on this date, 50 years ago, uh, Henry Aaron, Henry Lewis Aaron, aka Hank Aaron, aka Hammer and Hank Aaron, um, did what was known as the impossible at that time. He hit his 715th home run on this date 50 years ago, eclipsing the home run record that had been held since. Um, the legendary baseball slugger George Herman Roof, also known as Babe Roof, um, retired. Um, George Roof, aka Babe Roof, retired with um, 714 home runs. And Henry Aaron, Hank Aaron, he um, broke that record. He was tied with um, Babe Roof um, 50 years ago today, and he um, eclipsed that record, hitting his 715th home run on this date 50 years ago in Atlanta, Georgia at the old uh, stadium, the Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, which was uh, the first uh, big stadium, major sports arena down here in Atlanta for um, a major sports team. And so that was 50 years ago today, April the 8th, 1974. It's 50 years ago now, uh, that part. Um, what I was about to say. Uh, so yeah, it's been 50 years now, y'all. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Of course, so many people did not want him to break the records. He was threatened. And he was vilified by all of the, you know what I'm saying, uh, racist people that didn't want him to break Babe Ruth's record, which I still think Babe Ruth had a little black in him too, so I don't know why they were being so racist. So, But you know, that part. But, uh, you know, how that go. But, yep, um, that record was broken 50 years ago today. And um, Hank Aaron, he passed, of course, in 2021. And that year, um, the Braves 
uh, won their first championship in over 25 years at that point. Um, so that's what occurred on that day there. Um, so yeah, that part. Uh, shout out to my dad. He just got through uh, fixing some uh, sausage and grits, which is why I'm going to be grabbing on this morning. It's currently right now 11.16 in the morning as I record this to y'all. Also, in three days, y'all, the Jelly Bean Dream Triple Pack will be live. My um, Kickstarter campaign will be live. Shout out to the dude, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will be live. The Jelly Bean Dream Triple Pack will be live in three days. You know, what you all can do to, you know what I'm saying, push that on alone and share the link out. Not only share the link out, but, you know, click on it and get notified for when the lunch, um, um, when the lunch, um, when the campaign lunches. And so how you do that, of course, you know what I'm saying, you click on it, you know, make your Kickstarter account. You know what I'm saying? It's free to make a Kickstarter account just like making a Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. And you know, and you get notified when you know it launches. So I would definitely most appreciate all y'all for you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, being a part of that, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we get down with the GOAT Nation. We are a nation of goats and we are manifesting greatness on all levels from the spiritual level from the emotional level, from the mental level, from the physical level to the financial level. We are manifesting greatness all day, every day. Manifesting greatness, uh, motivating, I mean, excuse me, manifesting greatness, greatness, maintaining that greatness, and motivating others to be great. That is the move, that is the mantra, that is the way we gotta make it do what it do, you feel me? Meantime, between times, I'm not gonna hold y'all too long because I'm ready to just cool out for the rest of the day. And then later on today, I'm gonna work on my book. Whether or not I do a live stream on it, I don't know yet. If I'm gonna do a live stream, we'll see if that occurs. Man, I gotta charge my phone on my phone under 40% right now. But, um,. But yeah, I was watching a good episode of Matlock uh, a few minutes ago. It was it was a good episode. Uh, poor guy, he had missed his uh, banquet, his banquet in honor of him. That that sucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause he's like, man, I wanted to. You know, he was trying to get there for his banquet. You know where they was honoring him up yet, and man, he he went through a day. His car, his car went start. Then he um asked the neighbor to um. You know, ask the neighbor, you know what I'm saying, uh, to drive him to the banquet. You know what I'm saying? She, uh, they was making their way to the banquet. And then she got a flat in her, um, um, she got a flat, um, in her car. And so, um, somebody came up and, you know, helped them out, helped them out, um, helped them, you know, um, get their flat changed. And after he changed their flat, he robbed them and stole the car. <laughs> so it was a it was a whole conundrum of things that kept him from getting to his banquet. So it's that's a whole trip, and so it, it's crazy because you know you have uh, these situations that happen in your life where it'd be like, man, I'm just going through a whole bunch of crap. Like, what is going on? But the thing is, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, we all gonna go through some crap in life. But the thing is to push on through it, push on through it. And know that there is greatness on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go through situations that put you in a better situation. You feel me? Because like um, four months ago at this time. Four months ago at this time was what? Um, December the 8th. December the 8th was four months ago. December the 8th, 2023. That was four months ago. Um the last thing I was thinking at that time was moving. I was I had no anticipation on moving at all at that time. You know, we got that news from, you know, our former landlord um, after Christmas. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, they were going to be selling the spot. And so, um, you know, after that, you know, it was like, okay, you know, by springtime of 2024, we're going to be uh, moving. And so, you know... That, you know, four months ago, it was definitely not an intention to move, 
but at the same time it was like well you know it had been on the uh, forefront of thoughts for a good little minute especially after the way last year 2023 started with um someone um someone who uh one our form our neighbor well our neighbor at that time her boyfriend had got killed um in january of 2023 um with, right after you know my dad had his um health scare you know after that had happened you know um the dude he got killed uh, right out there uh right outside of um uh, right on the other side of my um bedroom wall like where my bedroom wall was at you know that's where dude was getting shot up at that day so um with that being said you know that that was that was a sign right there that you know what you know this this spot may have run its course but you know once again we had not plan on moving anytime soon and then of course you know um divine interventions you know occurred and boom there we go and boom here we are you know what I'm saying in the new spot you feel me and so so far this is this is definitely you know what I'm saying um a cool spot only thing I hate is you know what I'm saying me being me loving you know walking and stuff like that as far as like you know walking around my neighborhood and this that and the third um only thing I hate is I don't have a number of stores in walking distance like yeah they in you know in driving distance which is cool but you know i like you know being able to walk around the neighborhood and you know go to stores and whatnot like that you know what I'm saying get my get my steps in you know before i was actually calculating steps you know just getting my steps in throughout the day and you know walking about the neighborhoods and going to the store because i was near shopping centers you know what I'm saying at the old spot you know what I'm saying um shoot you know it wasn't a Walmart anywhere, but you know, you had the Kroger and the Publix and stuff, which they are still in distance, but driving distance now, not walking distance, unless you plan on walking all day. <laughs> but, um, but other than that, but, uh, yeah, um, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, it's definitely, um, a cool spot around here. Then, of course, uh, for some of y'all, y'all may have seen my, um, uh, I call I say my lake now because yeah it's in my neighborhood so I I got a lake out here, uh you know I like looking at it but you know I don't plan on being in it because I don't I don't, I can't swim so, but one of these days now now that I got a lake I might just have to dag on learn how to swim and dag on recreate recreate a uh, purple rain scene singing in purple rain shout out to Prince Apollonia, <laughs> but uh. But yeah, man, we just uh, cooling it right now. We just cooling it right now, and still getting adjusted to you know the whole new spot, and you know still gotta get my room together and all that good stuff. And once they get together, then that'll be the new um, quote unquote background slash studio or whatever you want to call it for the daily vlogs. But in the meantime, between time, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are here in the living room with your boy living we all living if you make it to this point in time you living just like i'm living that part and i pray that you live throughout this day and make it to tomorrow meantime and 20 time ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is time for the shout out shout out shout out hey 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 shout out shout out shout out hey 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 it's time for the shout outs baby I just got through checking my blood sugar. You know what I'm saying? I try to check it at least a minimum of once a day, most three times a day. Um, um oh yeah, shout oh yeah, shout outs out to university. Shout out to the South Carolina Gamecocks women's basketball team, Don Staley, who has been their coach since 2008. They have won their third national title up under her leadership, and they are undefeated this year. This is the first time a women's um, champion in basketball went undefeated in college at NCAA. NCAA. Um, this is the first time they went undefeated since 2016. And Don Staley has coached an amazing, an amazing cast of all women. And shout outs to Caitlin Clark, Clark, excuse me, shout outs to Caitlin Clark because she shined the light back on college basketball that to me hasn't had spotlight since.
Williams, the, the who I consider the greatest in um, college basketball, who has become a WNBA legend, uh, Candace Parker. Um, Candace Parker and her crew, Candace Parker, and um, you know, what I'm saying my five-two giant, you know, what I'm saying Shannon, um, Bobbitt, and all all of those who was up on the um, Coach Summit during that time, the late great uh, Pat Summit during that time, that University of Tennessee Lady Vols team, um, 07, 08 team, yeah, they was amazing. They was amazing and. You know, I knew that they was going to be the next great um, generation of WNBA legends. You know, they were like the first generation of girls to grow up knowing that they could go into the WNBA when they got old enough. You know what I'm saying? Because WNBA has been around since 97 and, you know, you know, the first stars of that were, you know, the, the top the top women of that time, you know, who were still you know, young enough to play, you know, like Cheryl Swoops and Lisa Leslie, all of them who were, you know, bona fide superstars, you know, through their through their uh, contributions to women's basketball via the Olympics, you know, being a part of the USA women's basketball team. A lot of them were Olympic gold stars. And, you know, uh, the only ones who I don't think had a chance to, of course, be in there was uh, like Cheryl Miller, who was one of the greatest women basketball players of of all time, Reggie Miller's big sister, you know what I'm saying? She would have been an NBA great had she been, of course, born a man or been allowed to play in the NBA. Well, I think I think she would have been amazing, even against um, the, the legends of that time, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Imagine her and Michael Jordan going against each other. That would have been, that would have been wild, you know what I'm saying? Squaring up against each other, you know what I'm saying? That would have been like the original love of basketball right there. But, um, but, uh, but with that being said, yes, shout out to Caitlin Clark who, you know, put a spotlight on this new generation of uh, women basketball players. And she, of course, definitely going number one in the WNBA this year. But shout outs to this amazing uh, Game Clock, uh, excuse me, Game Cox uh, team who went undefeated 38 and 0. No losses throughout this season and won their, um, won the title hands down. Um, this was they won back in 2022 and they also won in 2017 but i'm quite sure some of the people from 2022 still on this team maybe I don't, i'm not for certain if some of them still on the team but either way it goes coach staley's third title as their coach and you know her tenure there as uh their coach so she's definitely gonna go down you know saying as a, a great coach and i remember when she was a player and it's just like man like Man, it's hard to believe how, how time done flew by when I think about 08. And I'm like, yeah, because I remember when she started coaching there. And, you know, 08 still feel like yesterday. So, you know. But, um, but yeah, that part. Shout out side to them on that there. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, the men's championship come on tonight. Which, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna play it. Yeah, like, yeah. Alabama ain't in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop, but um, I don't know who I'm, I don't know, you know, I didn't set up no bracket, you know what I'm saying, I don't really be following basketball that close like that, you know, the college basketball that close like that, I barely follow the NBA um, these days, so, but, um, but you definitely like seeing, you know, um, I guess, I guess a lot of people definitely most of definitely love seeing the college basketball because you know it's still quote unquote pure I guess you could say. I know not to say that hey, you know what I'm saying, watch these folk cause they ain't getting paid, but you know that they are, you know what I'm saying, pushing showing their greatest effort because, you know, they, they wanna get paid, you know, they want most of them want to do this as their profession, you know, which they have been practicing and training, you know, the majority of their life on doing. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this day and age, you know, trying to, you know, make it make it about the circumstances of, you know, where they were born and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's a lot of folk that want to be the next LeBron James, you know, regardless of how you feel about him. I mean, hey, he has had a 20-plus year career um, in basketball, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, he had nothing bad going on with him throughout his um throughout his time in the spotlight and he's been in the spotlight since he was a teenager so you know what i'm saying shout outs um to Bron on that 
you know what I'm saying? What, however y'all want to call it on whatever, whatever. Uh, uh, what do we have with that? Uh, uh, oh yeah, check it out. Go ahead and um, sorry about that, y'all. Um, I was up here um, updating what I ate yesterday. Um, let's see, I got one coming in the short that I dropped yesterday. Uh, Chris Hamid, my former neighbor, Miss Chris, aka Aunt Chris, she said, This is cool. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to say, uh, I'm about to go back to the thing. Yeah, there we go. Um, thank you. Uh, that part. So, shout out to Miss Chris up here with the comment on my short from yesterday and now yesterday's um yesterday's daily vlog yesterday's daily vlog day 1496 we have in the building we have um cooking with banu cooking with banu said third like and amazing sharing please be connected yep that part um cooking with banu um joined um 10 years ago joined April the 4th 2014 their channel is now 10 years old now 10 years and four days old with 463,952 views their description reads all cooking recipes will get you will, I mean all cooking recipes you will get here um, and they currently have 518 videos and they definitely have um, a lot of um, views on their joints um, they just uh, did um, uh, video 21 hours ago at this time currently has 276 views episode 27 rums and special pieces custard jelly pudding recipe iftar special recipe um so yeah that part um their banner reads eating is necessity but cooking is an art that part and i tell people that all the time you know what I'm saying everything that you do if you do it well it's art it's all an art you feel me so that part um so that's the comment that i have uh for yesterday's day of vlog let's see who was here for the live chat anybody was in the building for the live chat tuber chat was in the building shout outs to kevin being in the house tuber chat was in the building and that was it i appreciate uh tuber chat for coming through i appreciate cooking with banu for sliding through you know what i'm saying in the regular comment section uh meantime between times I hope everybody have a most awesome day. Whoever you are watching this today, I appreciate you coming through today. Whether you are watching this in the um, live chat, if you're watching this in the premiere of this day of vlog, or if you're watching this in the replay, lay back, way back, and playback, may back. You feel me? Replay game, live chat game, live chat crew. Y'all already know what to do. Meantime, between times, I'm gone, y'all. Stay blessed up. Continue to manifest greatness, maintain greatness, and motivate others to be great. All right? that part video playlist watch them all right one love